here, Lucci, Eddie, and Ben. Today, we're talking about this mystical and magical idea of capacity. What does it mean? How do we calculate it? Do we calculate it? What do we use it for? When do we use it? All those fun questions. So tossing it over to the group, what do you think capacity is and how have you seen people use it? Capacity is not mystical or magical. I just want to throw that in there to start. I'll let someone else begin with what their thing is, but it's not mystical or magical. It's super easy. How is uh, it, Leo, that it's super easy? Oh, Sorry. sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I look at capacity as the availability of the team to do work. Simple as that. Yeah, and I think this is, I mean, what 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 troubles me with the term capacity is is in contrast to velocity. Um, so uh, I understand that capacity is a new label for velocity plus some factor. So you take your velocity, you do something to it, and you end up with capacity. Is that fair? I would have thought it was slightly different. I would have always thought that your velocity would kind of indicate how much you're capable of achieving and your capacity is figuring out what percentage of that max you can achieve, if you understand what I mean. So yeah. my, my velocity would, I mean, I guess maybe velocity is the wrong term, but I think you, you use capacity not to denote what your team is capable of delivering, but what percentage of your maximum you can deliver. So for example, if our velocity is, 100 story points every sprint and our capacity is 50 percent because half of the people are on holiday then we're only gonna achieve half of our velocity so to say so for eddie his capacity is a percentage uh leo 100 percent 100 percent agree 100 percent is 100 percent no i agree with 100 percent is a percent <laughs> yes my my definition is the same um what you know so when you go into a capacity meeting that capacity meeting is a discussion about what proportion of max velocity each team is at no the capacity meeting is when i sit down and i say there are five of us here we have an hour to record videos for the next five weeks are we all going to be there for the full hour for every one of those sessions and if we all say yes to every one of them then we're at 100 percent capacity and yeah. if ben as I'm done recording YouTube videos, I don't want to record these anymore. You are all very stupid and it's a waste of my time. Then our capacity is at 80% for the next yeah. five weeks. So, so when when so let me ask the same question again. So when Leo goes to a capacity meeting, his meeting is discussion about a percentage that all of the representatives are going to be present. It's nothing about story points. It's nothing about velocity and it's nothing about story points. It's a percentage. So you come out of that meeting room saying, yep, I'm 66%. I understand you're 74%. I understand that you're 33%. That's a com that's a capacity conversation. Yes. Where velocity comes into play is when you have a want to have a conversation about a deliverable. So if you're, you know, to Eddie's point, if you're capacity planning for the quarter, for example, which companies companies really struggle with this. Um, and but but that in itself, I know what you're going to say. So capacity planning is essentially you're going to say velocity plus capacity equals capacity planning. I would call that forecasting. But you're telling me capacity planning isn't a conversation just about utility of a team. It's applying uh, a uh, a velocity and a capacity to then forecast. Yes. Luchi, what were what, you going to say? Yes, what variables uh, are present in capacity? Like capacity Good takes question. into account what? I, uh, like things as simple as like public holidays. So if you're running a 10-day sprint or a two-week sprint and you've got a public holiday, that's one day for everyone. So that you would say your capacity or your, your factoring number is 90%. And then I might say, well, I've also got five days holiday booked, so I'm out for another five days. So it drops it down to... It depends how many people are on your team, but let's say 85%. And then you've got your kind of, you've got your factoring number, which some people would know as capacity. Okay, so it's like is, the, 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 the individuals, like, and the, the amount of hours 
it's for me the the number you're that we're just yes is the is the proportion of a total max as as defined by uh, a couple of people it's the it's the proportion of potential maximum that we're going that we think we're going to be able to do over the next sprint um for me it's it's very unintuitive to say my capacity is 80 percent my capacity is like uh um i don't know i don't think it's a proportion that's for me that that number we've just discussed is a is a utility or a factoring number to, to factor my velocity so what I'm hearing is you have a so like you have your capacity. You should know your capacity first before you look at what you're taking in for let's say a sprint because the capacity should dictate what percent of the velocity you're pulling in because if your velocity is 20 but half of your team is out then you're should be pulling in half of your velocity which would be 10. So it should be that capacity comes first and then velocity, but then when do you factor in the capacity for the capacity meeting? Cuz how long are we really talking about capacity in these capacity meetings? That's well, it I doesn't want. actually it doesn't matter the order. So you can know your velocity and then figure out your capacity, or you can figure out your capacity and then apply velocity. But the point is you do those two things to know how much you can do. For me, that's confusing because a lot of people use capacity as the result of that calculation. They take their velocity, they factor it, and they say, this is my capacity. What we've just said is that my capacity is the factoring number, and the result is a different thing, like but, a predict predicted amount of work I can do. So would you propose that we just start using availability as the word? Because ultimately, what me and Lior described as capacity is just availability. Yeah, I, um, I think for me, that would be more intuitive to say, this is my velocity, 21 story points. Our availability is 85%. Therefore, our no, insert word, uh, some people will say capacity, is 85 of 21. Um, and that's our available uh, work we can achieve. Yeah, and, and here's where I think people get tripped up. Um, when teams aren't using velocity correctly, then they don't have the ability to apply that fa the, the factoring number into something that's stable and predictable. So what they end up having to do is some kind of guesswork because there's there needs to be some kind of report stakeholders in from a quarterly planning perspective. We think this much work is going to happen. If you've got your velocity and that's predictable and you've got your capacity, it's a five minute discussion. If you don't have any of those things, then it's all of these conversations with engineers. Do you think we'll be able to do this and could we fit this feature and could we do that? And that's where I think these capacity meetings kind of get out of hand. How do you work out your capacity for a quarter? I can understand like the next sprint, you can say, this is my capacity. Like we've got a day's public holiday and Ben's taking a vacation. How do you do that? How do you work out your capacity for a, a quarter? The only approach I've seen that seemed to work fairly well is very similar to how you work out velocity in that um, you look at, you know, the plan, right? So plan, there will be some bank holidays that you can account for. And then you look at the average over the last three years of like, oh, for our next quarter, every quarter of our hundred man team, usually every week, about five people are sick for a day or two days or something yeah. like this. Only based off of averages over time. What I think is interesting here is that, um, We've got a calculation going, which is how available people are and how much we can deliver in the time we have available to us in terms of velocity. And I feel like I've been in a lot more meetings discussing how available people are than discussing what our velocity is when theoretically figuring out the velocity is the really hard part. There's a very hard, like there's a, a more complex variable and there's a much easier variable that we seem to put more effort into the easier one because it's more nice spreadsheet data. -y. I don't know how you guys feel about that. I, I, I'll, although I want to interject um, cause we're running out of time. I want to give people like the little tip at the end. Um, so here's the takeaway from my perspective, curious to get other people's thoughts. There should never be a meeting about capacity ever. Um, it doesn't require a meeting. You're a scrum master. You reach out to your team members. You say, Hey, do you have any planned vacations coming up over the next quarter? Um, we'll build in some kind of prediction around sick days, um, divide that into your team's velocity, send that off to your coach, 
who's doing these reports or whomever it happens to be and get on with your life. Agree completely. <laughs> uh, I'm left I'm left wondering how you're burning hours and hours in capacity mini capacity planning meetings. But that's a different type of subject, apparently. <laughs> Each team member, oh, but is your chest feeling okay? Have you got a bit of a scratchy throat? Maybe you know, you really ask everybody to give a full diagnosis of their bodily state so you can better predict if they're going to be sick during the week or not. That's the best way to waste time on it. A lot of capacity for capacity. <laughs> Any other final thoughts? I I, maybe we're out of capacity. I, I still am not really entirely sure because I think uh, uh, this feels like an amorphous concept and it's really not. It's really not. It's just like Lior said, just get on with it. Just figure out when people are available and get on with it. Like it's it shouldn't be that difficult. That's my thought. So I don't know what you think. People who are watching this, let us know in the comments below. What do you think capacity is? How have you used it? Are you using it entirely differently? Do you think you're right? Let us know. Let's talk about it. Uh, please subscribe to our other videos. We've got more for you and we will see you next time.